bumps the axe. Prove yourself. Harassment's going to be a little bit more limited, but a nice power shot. They get the shards there. Van, good clap, though, onto several and doing a good bit of damage here. Are they going to be able to kill off the Brewmaster? Definitely. It looks like nothing else is going to come in. Slow whittling away here. Moving all over here to the top, they get the snowball chase onto the puck. This could be a little bit rough. They've saved on the shards also. Does have phase shift, but looking like a dead puck. Yeah, nicely done. Through the arrow with the ice shard. Comparison to probably the puck would be the best one to compare yeah. it to. He's having I, a really good time. Yeah, I think overall it's going okay for No Name. Oh. I say that it's about to turn the other way as Shaman gets some help from. Ooh, they got the slow there onto Joe Beasy, but not the damage. So he keeps his clarity running. The snowball comes in. He did get the strength form off, but can't get the stick. You sit here, you feel like you should be able to get a lot of last hits. But with Shaman there and Shaq, <gasps> he switched over to Agi. That's just a mistake. I think, yep. I, but we'll be getting some alone time perhaps soon. As Shaman also level five. So I, I don't mind the Ember slower level six because we're going to see very fast surf mods come online. Mr. BC again goes looking for that shackle, not going to find it there. Instead, it's top lane where they've been. Level 6 on Van. Uh, not a great place for him to get a kill, at least on the uh, on the Void, as we do see Joe BZ go down. Finally punished a little bit there. So now Ember wants to commit aggressively for this. Yeah, they're going to snowball forward. Okay. They have chains have back chains up. Yeah, in we'll one. have in a sec. They have the Shremnit too as well, chasing, doing a good bit of damage. He has a power shot available as well as another shot. No, oh, not going to go for it. That's done. I think to look at this game, they may feel like they can go a utility build, but Black always wants to be going these carry builds. Yeah. Nice initiation. A little ways away, but they're going to find Noya right at the start. This is a decent kill for them here, and the Shackle lands, the right clicks are there. He's dead. Can they find any more, though? Back to the mid lane. Ember's gone in. Puck, he gets Hex. He doesn't join away. He had the orb going, but they disabled him perfectly. Well played here. And this, having like these. Normally you hit level 6 on Brew and you can like solo kill your lane because that's just how good the ulti is, but not Void. Void has uh, an escape. Oh, nice play there. He can still do this ice path to break it up. He has the split now. The turnaround is going to be there. They oh, get yeah. the lift up onto one. Noya trying to snowball away. He's actually on to the fire panda. He dies as he comes down. Pivitcha trying to run away. They have a shackle if they want to use it in just a second. And it looks like they might just be able to get it to latch. That is the kill they were waiting for. Joe running away, realizing the danger of this. As Chris is brought down low, but not low Bruce enough. Low. They may be able to kill this Brewmaster if they can get in there. They have the great wards down as well. Great combo there. He needs to get out on the Morph yep. Super low. Van going to die, and they have far overstayed their welcome. Yeah, Shakira trapped behind the tower. He's a free finish for Ping Venchek, who now has his seventh kill of the game. Morph Fleet, while your carries on the other side of the map, you feel very happy about yourself. Silence. Puck gets the orb out. Does get oh disabled. My. And Joe again. He's being really good on the Shaman. Oh, and now they have the ward's block off, too. They jump in with Chris. Getting pretty bold there. Are they going to be able to find that kill? They do at least onto one. He's switching over to strength form, but it's not enough. Skilled players, but I think they're a team that's been utilizing good strats more than people give them credit for. Right. They do have the Bruce split here again, and... Oh, they can maybe do it to try and turn this back around, but they've already lost the Wind Ranger. That's a lot of their disable, but they have taken down one already. Rana, just going to jump away from this. And they lost Morphling? Oh, top lane. He got killed by an Ember. Uh, oh, Chronosphere plus Ember. Yeah. They do have Hester Joe here. Don't think that that's worth it, relatively speaking. They're going to kill him. He's going to turn and yeah, let's say he can kill Brew, right? Oh, God. All right. He even had Star Storm and Arrow. He didn't even need to use him. He just right clicks him down. Brewmaster. If they just play as the Morphling Hard Farmer and have the other ones run around and get stuff done, they could probably get in a position to take all the towers early. But as it stands, it's just completely fallen off the rails. Tactfully sound here in a, a tough round three match. Yeah. You know, you still here. have ways to maybe make this happen. It's going to be tough. It's going to yeah. be a lot harder than it would have been. But Definitely not over. They find themselves the Wind Ranger, able to jump away. Coil taking the kill. He dies in the fountain if he doesn't get out. That's true. They can take the fight bottom. Or not. <laughs> or they can get the Ember. Jump oh, forward. Full combo. There we go. Not as much. Very difficult way to play Dota. And you have to have, like, insane 
game sense and decision making to, to pull it off, and we're seeing them kind of just being dropped. Right. Uh, back here, Puck doesn't have a TP for a while. Coil off the mark, hurts a little bit, tries to get away, and uh, forced to one more remnant. Hard for him to scale. Definitely. The same way like the Morphling can. It does feel like he's just played a bit too selfishly this game. And, well, there's going to be a Chrono. Kate-ish. It's the, the leap, the attack speed duration just doesn't really last long enough. Yeah. That's a nice pick up yeah. there. They find it broken immediately. They got him caught, but there's the shackle to break it up. Not bad. The chase down. The macro pirates onto two, but the chronosphere it's onto three. Do they have the damage? They've switched over on Morphling already to strength too. though, and they're gonna be able to catch absolutely everybody here. Morphling under fire and going to die. Yeah. <laughs> he's low in health and he's like, keep. Yeah, he, he was a little bit short of money, and now he's being chased down as well. Oh, no man. escape for you, sir. Well, just like that, they lose four. And they've got Serpent Wards. Nope. He got a great. He was in the trees, got the Lincoln's break. He forced the fight because he goes on that Morphling and gets the Hex. He's <laughs> black. Have mercy. Because he breaks Lincoln's and then has Hex into a Shackles, it forces the rest of the Dire team to protect the Morphling. And once they do that, they're committed to a fight. And then Black has a, a great Chronosphere because of that. Well, and now it's just sort of. He's like, come on, man. Range creep go down. Stolen Void form. Don't get bashed, Aaron. Okay, he goes back into Morph form just in time, but he may still die. Has a Ghost Scepter, which he won't get off. Morphling dies again. Brewmaster TP into a Shackles. Perfect disable and spell usage from Entity Gaming as they look like they should be through the next round. Very well played. And you know, for style points, they're fighting over who it is that actually gets to get the kills. Yeah, this is, I think, what everybody would still be expecting in this game. Um, but it's the type of team where I wouldn't have minded seeing a best of three between these guys, you know? Yeah. I think this was not Team No Name playing their best Dota.